Hey, so today um I'll show you how I make boards from a, a file, meaning like they're cut by machine and then I just kind of finish shape it. And then this is a EPS core with a carbon fiber deck and rail lap. And then I spray painted over the carbon fiber and laminated over that. So I'll show you guys that link. So there's so much you can do with this software, but you can really just get accurate with a lot of the little things like your rail, your concave, the thickness in the transitions. And uh, it might look intimidating here, but really once you learn how to like manipulate the, the points that they give you, it's super fun. And then once you have your board design, um, what I do is I send it to my local foam manufacturer and they cut it and then send it to me for super cheap. Laminating is a big fear of mine. I always mess it up. And especially with carbon fiber, it's just really like, you gotta work really fast and really accurate. Cross my fingers, this goes well. Well, frick. Either I forgot to press play or my phone stopped recording. But it's done. It came out pretty good. Overall, this isn't like a terrible lamination. It's it's pretty smooth for this for the most part. Um, there's a couple parts that are like there's some bigger bumps that are really like not ideal for laminating um, and for hot coating. So because it's for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it down. But if you were gonna do like production quality, like sell this to somebody, I I don't think I would do that. Um, and I think, to be honest, it'd be a really good argument to get a vacuum bagging system, which if you guys like and subscribe, get me to a thousand followers, I'll get one and I'll make it um, and show you guys how to do it. It's, it's, it's pretty frustrating. It's a little sad that they came out so bumpy. For my purposes, I, I wanted to make the deck hard and I wanted to um, reinforce the rails. So I'll just have like a few thin spots. I'm gonna put fiberglass over this so it won't really matter Anyway, I'm also going to paint it, you'll see.
weird thing, the bad thing was there was there must have been like some kind of like weird impurity because there's like a bunch of fish eyeing and pooling. That was just strange. I just didn't like the spray paint. But it's a water-based spray paint. Like I don't think that would have been it. I, to be honest with you, I can't really say for sure. Um, maybe maybe the paint needed to be like dry a little more because I can see. I can see in the resin there's like some residual something and it. It looks like maybe it could be paint anyway. But the the line that I made for the paint, like I'm pretty happy with it. It came out pretty clean. Like that was a pretty clean line and the it, it looks really good. Like I, I'm much happier with the spray paint than I am a resin tint. So this was a win. I'm going to do this again for sure. Now the the real question that I have is going to be, will there be any delaming? Because I did basically I did resin spray paint resin, and I don't know how those two are going to bond or like respond to each other. Um, so I'm going to be super curious to see in time how this layer of paint does between the resin. So we'll see. We'll find out. I'll let you guys know. So I designed this board for speed in small waves and the essentials really are I've got a nice wide nose to make it easy to paddle, I've got a nice wide tail to make it plain and also have like a fish tail so I could keep that tail block pretty wide and stay pretty like loose and skatey and then the rocker is super flat so it just flies down the line. surfed it a couple times now. I've surfed it in like bigger surf. It's not really meant for like head high surf. It was still pretty fun. It just, you can, you can feel like when you go to your rail, you don't have enough rail in the water to like hold as well, but I still held. There's still like really fun waves on this. It doesn't paddle into waves quite as easy as I had hoped. Like I gave it a fuller nose. It doesn't paddle in quite as easy as I hoped, but still easier than like a standard shortboard, I think. Use it mainly for small fish, but yeah, it was fun, super fun, super glidey, super skatey, and paddled in pretty well. So, so.